In mathematics, the Poincaré-Miranda theorem is a generalization of the intermediate value theorem, from a single function in a single dimension, to n functions in n dimensions. It says as follows Consider n continuous functions of n variables f 1 f n display style f underscore 1 l dots f underscore n assume that for each variable x i display style x underscore i the function f i display style f underscore i is constantly negative when x i equals Minus one. Display style x underscore i equals minus one, and constantly positive when x i equals one. Display style x underscore i equals one. Then there is a point in the n display style n dimensional cube minus one. One n display style minus one one caret n, in which all functions are simultaneously equal to zero. Display style zero. The theorem is named after Henri Poincaré, who conjectured it in 1883, and Carlo Miranda, who in 1940 showed that it is equivalent to the Brouwer fixed point theorem. Intuitive description The picture on the right shows an illustration of the Poincaré–Miranda theorem for n equals two functions. Consider a couple of functions f, g, whose domain of definition is the minus 1, plus 1, 2 square. The function f is negative on the left boundary and positive on the right boundary, green sides of the square, while the function g is negative on the lower boundary and positive on the upper boundary, red sides of the square. When we go from left to right along any path, we must go through a point in which f is zero. Therefore, there must be a wall separating the left from the right, along which f is zero, green curve inside the square. Similarly, there must be a wall separating the top from the bottom along which g is zero red curve inside the square these walls must intersect in a point in which both functions are zero blue point inside the square equals topic generalizations equals the simplest generalization, as a matter of fact a corollary, of this theorem is the following one. For every variable xi, let i be any value in the range sup xi. Topic 0 phi, i n f x i 1 phi. Then there is a point in the unit cube in which for all i f i equals a i display style f underscore i equals a underscore i the this statement can be reduced to the original one by a simple translation of axes x i equals x i y i equals y I minus a i i element of one n display style x underscore i caret prime equals x underscore i q quad y underscore i caret prime equals y underscore i underscore i q quad for all i in one dots n where she are the coordinates in the domain of the function ye are the coordinates in the codomain of the function equals equals notes <laughs>